hands down the worst thing I've ever experienced in my life. That one and heartbreak. I don't know which one. <laughs> oh. Because during COVID, I was not mentally okay. COVID-19, coronavirus disease. Mysterious pneumonia outbreak in Wuhan, China. A new type of coronavirus. The organization has just declared that this is a pandemic. Just a few years ago, a deadly virus we now know as COVID-19 broke out in China. What a terrible time. This is what the streets of Wuhan looked like. Schools, businesses, and a lot of public places were closed. Everyone was mandated to stay indoors. What a difficult time for China and the whole world at large. Let's see what Wuhan, China looks like in 2024. Hey guys, welcome back once again to my YouTube channel. Today we are live in Wuhan, China. Yes, you heard me right. Wuhan is one of those places that even people who have never been to China have no plans of being to China. They know this name. When they hear Wuhan, they're like, hmm, that name rings a bell. Why? Because of 2020, because of COVID. What is Wuhan like four years later after COVID? Is it still locked down? Are people going about their lives or are there still some restrictions? Today, I'm going to take you guys around. If you didn't know, Wuhan is actually one of the largest cities in China. It has millions of people. It is a bustling city, okay? Today, we're going to find out how the people are living. Are they still, you know, locked up and all that? So, let's go. Wow. For sure, how can? Are people still wearing face masks? Let's see, let's see. I don't see. Oh, okay. One person at my back is still wearing face masks. Um, but as you guys can see, Wuhan is basically back to normal four years after COVID, okay? People are out and about. People are selling on the streets. People are out with their babies. Like, it's like COVID never happened. Who would believe? Like, who will believe that this time, four years ago, this time in 2020, that this was a ghost town? Like, it's really crazy. This time in 2020, people could not walk around these streets. People were not outside. We were all locked inside our houses because of lockdown. And now, everything is just back to normal. Like, wow. Oh, you make me wanna talk back. Talk back to you. Say you say you like that. If I hate you, then find someone new. So we are still in the streets of Wuhan. I'm looking for bread, okay? <laughs> Let me know below in the comment section. Are you a lover of bread like me? I love love bread. So we are looking for freshly baked bread. The ones I've been buying in Wuhan, they have not really been giving fresh. They are giving packaged and all that. So I want something fresh. So we are trying to get to a bakery so that your girl can buy some bread. And we are walking. So by the time I walk to the bakery, I would have burnt enough calories. <laughs> that would Which ginger. we actually need it. <laughs> yes, we need this exercise. For wine. It's a... Uh... Like it's nothing they use for wine Ooh. carrying. It looks yeah. like. Okay, you can hear me? interesting you guys oh. how how interesting <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, you make me want to talk back. Talk back. To you. It's public toilet, though. So, if you're pressed outside, you just hop into one of these and use the bathroom. This is another public. Okay, this is another one. Oh, wow. Another public toilet here. This is me. Manda, Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, is this sweet? You guys, by the way, this is a typical Chinese sitting style. I'll be squatting style. Like, you see a lot of people just squatting. And they can be like this for like hours. It's crazy because if I try it, after like five minutes, I'll have muscle food. I think it's because of their squat toilet. I got to. Thank you. Yeah, you guys, as I was saying, I think. It has to do with the yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I think he has. When you get there, you will pay one thousand. I think that guy is squatting, and the whole like, what is? If you're watching this video and you're Chinese, what is? Why? Why is it that a lot of Chinese people can squat and be that way for hours? Is it because of the squat toilet? I think so. Not bad, and I like the fact that not too much sugar. Yeah. Mm. This back view is giving Hollywood. <laughs> oh. It's giving in the big city. <laughs> but you are in the big city. No, I'm in the, big, in the big city. Big city. Big. It's so crazy that we survived life in China during COVID. Like, Jeez, God. I think that's like hands down. The worst thing I've ever experienced in my life. That one and heartbreak. I don't know which one, <laughs> which one is going to win if we compare. Because during COVID, um, I was not mentally okay. <laughs> I was not mentally stable. Imagine me now, uh, uh, somebody who is, I don't know, I don't strong know. or no, not about strong. Like you know the type of person I am. Mm -hmm. yeah? I don't like to be. Caged, yeah, right, yeah, or be told what to do exactly, and that is one thing I um I prefer to do it that I want to I want to stay at home. That's what you yeah. <laughs> say you must two months stay, stay at home. Three months, four months, you are not leaving your, your gate. Place. It was mentally challenging, right? right. And for whatever it is, there is nothing. One thing about these people when they tell you something. That is how it is. There are no flights back to Nigeria. Right. So we were basically stuck in China. It's just crazy. But I'm happy that things are back to normal now. Back to normal when it was even last year. It just that last we year. Had a full, a full, real sense of freedom. Of being in China. Exactly. Because from we came in 2019, September. September. So barely three it months has into the country. Been room and never in my wildest dreams did i think it would become what it became be something big, i didn't yeah. know we would go into lockdown i didn't know that you know we would not be able to go out that it would kill so many people like i had absolutely no idea i, I had that. anxiety because we were not allowed to go out we would order food right. they would drop it in front of our door <laughs> you would have to wear face masks yeah. i was always washing my hand I couldn't even press elevator with my hand. Yeah. I'll use tissue to touch the elevator. Exactly. I was, oh yeah, yeah, it was a lot. <laughs> exactly. It's crazy that we're telling the story now, but oh back then, goodness. back it then. It wasn't funny. My wasn't was, funny. I don't even know how I was able, like, I don't know why I didn't go home. Cause I think from January, February, we had the opportunity to go home. Right. 
But we didn't go. They said we should go. They yeah. Who wants to go? To yeah. Go. January, February, fact, before they left. The advised us to, to go. go. I quite chilly. We didn't oh, know. We, we died. We stood our ground. We don't know that. So, um, it's yeah, not, but, uh, look, it's not, this was, we didn't know that it would stretch out for as long as it yeah, did. Because I, was sure, I, mean, I remember saying, like, uh, okay, maybe after like one month, yeah, few so weeks, it's, it's, the virus will so clear. Why wasting uh, uh, five tickets money. going back? Because we had just come to China like few three months, months yeah. before. So I was like, I would like to go back to Nigeria. I never yeah. even land finished. So I was like, I'm not going anywhere. This virus will soon be over. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not saying the virus came to stay because. <laughs> China was literally locked all through 2020, 2021, 2022. Exactly. So it was early 2023. Yeah, February. Uh, so January, basically, that's when they officially. So basically, 2023 was when China officially told us, Wah, you can actually leave this country okay. and come back. Freely. You know, freely. Because at Before, the time when you leave, you can't come back. There you was can't, that even day. if you come back, you quarantine for like, remember, people, people would leave China. Come back 2022, 2021 and quarantine for like 14 days. Yeah. Or 21 days, they'll quarantine. If I you guys, so we found this bread shop, but this is not the one that I'm actually looking for. This is a bread and pastry shop. And we just decided to check it out. I'm still heading to where we are looking for. So I just bought like one small bread. Here's the thing, and let me just tell you guys the kind of person I am because I feel like I want us to start getting to know each other this year because I don't talk a lot about like myself, but I'm the kind of person that if I try something once, I will keep eating that thing and eating that thing and eating that thing. I'm not a huge embracer of change, so I bought one bread from that bakery shop but i'm still headed to the place where i ate their bread last week that's the kind of person i am if i eat one food i'm like hmm this food is good next week if i go to the same restaurant i'm eating that same food that i ate i find it hard to try new things or to change what i already know which is not really good because there might be something better but i'm just stuck on oh this is the one i know this is what i like give me that fried rice with tomato and cabbage i ate it last year give it to me again this year but what if there's a new um recipe what if there's something even more delicious so i think it's just important that uh, we find a balance to like embracing change trying new things you know before you say oh i prefer that other one because for me i'll not even try i'll just say give me that one you gave me last week anyways bottom line is that i shall bought bread from one supermarket and we are still <laughs> yeah. but we are, I'm not hung up on any I'm open to new I'm not hung up I'm open to new things this is 2024 I'm not scared to try new things but anyways we are sure headed to that one that bread place I ate last week we are headed there and I'm going to tell you guys at the end of the day I'll eat this one I eat that one and I'll give you guys a review. It's getting so dark and noisy. I think I'll just stop filming and probably start doing a voiceover. You guys not believe that this place is closed. Like, jeez. What in the world? So all this was in vain. Come on, we'll come back tomorrow. Let's go. At least we bought that one. I honestly can't believe it's been four years. Visiting Wuhan just made me reflect on how long it has been since COVID, honestly. When you're walking around this city, you will not believe that just four years ago, it was a ghost town. There were a lot of restrictions here. And Wuhan was literally, the name Wuhan was literally flying everywhere. In the news, online, everyone knew the name of this city. Also, it's interesting that babies, babies that were given birth to in 2020 are going to be turning four this year. Like, oh my goodness, where is time flying to? Um, COVID was such a difficult time for me. I struggled deeply. 
I was just a few months into being in a new country without family, without friends and without familiar people and places. I'm thankful that I persevered and I was able to go through that period. I also want to say rest in peace to all those we lost during COVID. If you lost a friend, a relative, or someone during COVID, I want to offer my sincere condolences. And I really hope that something like COVID never happens again. A lot of people outside China might not understand the effect it had on us who lived in China. But trust me, I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. It was one of the most horrific things I had ever experienced. It affected my mental health so much. I'm so thankful that I had groups and a couple of friends that, you know, we just held each other. We held each other as tightly as possible. And I believe that's one of the things that helped me survive. Also, my family was consistently checking up on me. And that also helped remind me that I am not alone, that there are people back home who love me and who care for me and who, you know, are thinking about me. How have you changed since COVID? You guys, please let me know in the comments what has changed in your life since 2020. How have you grown? How did you spend your lockdown? What were you doing in 2020? Let me know below in the comment section. For me, I was inside my room most of the time, crying, eating, and watching lots of Korean movies. Haha, <laughs> if you watch up to this point, thank you so much and see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye.